An incineration facility burning medical waste periodically tracks combustion efficiency. The last flue gas sample has the following characteristics. With these flue gas sampling results, using the EPA required oxygen concentration standard of 7% oxygen on a dry basis, the combustion efficiency is most nearly A. 99% B. 98% C, 97% or D, 96%. Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we will revisit the topic of combustion and its products. As we discussed in episode 17, combustion is a high temperature exothermic redox chemical reaction between a fuel and an oxidant, usually atmospheric oxygen that produces oxidized, often gaseous products in a mixture termed as smoke. There can be many products of combustion, but the two primary products are carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Complete and perfect combustion of hydrocarbons will result in water and 100% carbon dioxide with no carbon monoxide present. However, complete combustion is almost impossible to achieve since the chemical equilibrium is not necessarily reached and will contain some unburnt concentration of carbon monoxide. This problem shows that we have some measurements of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide, albeit the carbon monoxide concentration is much smaller. This shows that we do not have complete combustion coming out of the exhaust stack. So to find the combustion efficiency, we will take the concentration of carbon dioxide divided by the sum of the carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide concentrations. So we have our two concentrations, but remember that the EPA requires that all concentrations are used reflecting the condition of 7% oxygen on a dry basis. Our carbon dioxide measurement meets this standard but our carbon monoxide data does not, so we will need to convert it using this equation. This equation uses the atmospheric oxygen percentage of 21% to get an approximate value of what the concentration would be at 7% oxygen. The oxygen level at which the carbon monoxide measurement is taken is 11.2, so we will plug that into our equation along with the carbon dioxide concentration and we get a value of 241.4 ppm for the equivalent carbon monoxide concentration. Now that both concentrations are assuming 7% oxygen levels, we'll plug them into the efficiency equation and we get a value of 96.3%, which is closest to D. Join us for episode 30 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.